about how much I'm in love with his pants right now. They are the deal. I'm living for his. I can right promote now. a local establishment if, if I may. Yes. Nice. Well, who are you wearing? Nitty gritty. <laughs> nice. Because I'm not even lying that I have Nitty Gritty's phone number in my pocket. I'm getting ready to call her as soon as I get off the air. Yeah, it's great. Nitty wonderful, gritty. wonderful place. Love her. I'm so, very excited. Yes. Okay, well, enough about how cute you are. Okay. <laughs> because we are here. It's it's bittersweet. I know it's more sweet than bitter, but Austin is very famous, and he's leaving us. He's leaving. He's going to the Big Apple. Yes. He's going to the New York City, the bright lights. Yes. They pulled him in yes, because, have. you know, you're famous. That's what you got to do. you got to grow. you got to spread your wings. you got to fly. Dad is sending you out of the nest. Yes. <laughs> Daddy's pushing you out. Both are. Get out. Everyone. Get out. <laughs> <laughs> Go be big. So we're excited for you because that's a great big step, obviously. And I know you are going to take the city by storm because what you have done is really, I think, reinvent something that people need to be paying attention to. So when you reinvent a classic, you and of yourself are a classic. And I'm so excited to see what you do in New York City, just as long as you promise to come back home. Well, and that's definitely part of the plan is to sort of grow and develop in a, in a larger pond you know the fish has gotten kind of big it needs to be sort of juxtaposed next to larger more terrifying fish yes and yes. that's kind of how i survive i like survival mode rather than comfort mode okay. so um but incorporating louisville into our our sort of long-range planning is definitely part of it coming back and doing the collaborative programming that we have done since day one so. Well, I was going to say, don't forget us. We're still here wanting to collaborate. Never, never. Ready. You know, as long as my mom keeps making her chili, I'll still, I'll still be coming home. Good. So when you're ready to start your, like, franchises of <laughs> Bourbon Baroque, you let me know. We can have a home base here, too, while you go out and put Bourbon Baroque everywhere. Bourbon, bourbon, bourbon. It's what everyone, I'm telling you, people are going to go crazy for you. They're going to eat you up up there in a good way. Drink me up. <laughs> They're going to drink you right up, right? So this is your uh, swan song of sorts. Very much so. And I'm excited because this is a biggie. So tell us just a bit. We've got Dido and Aeneas, and this is a big, big, big show. Well, it's probably one of the most famous uh, theatrical uh, works in the, of the Baroque by Henry Purcell, one of the earliest known operas. I and, love Purcell. Oh, he's great. Yeah. Really just an awesome uh, genre of the Baroque. Very dancey. And speaking of dance, that's one of the elements of this of this project that we are uh, we are incorporating. Uh, we are basically we are staging the opera uh, Henry Purcell's Dido and Aeneas, and it is going to entail uh, upwards of 50 artists. Huge uh, production for us, and probably our, our largest that we've ever done with regards to number of people and the the variety of disciplines that we have involved. So, how many people uh, do we have on the stage for this one? Well, we've got uh, a chorus of 24, and, and that is wow. uh, being provided by the Youth Performing Arts, the Chamber Singers, under the direction of Jacob Cook. And in addition to the, to the chorus, we have our leads, our singing leads, of course, and they come from all over the region. Um, uh, and in addition to that, our visual concept for the show is a collaboration between two elements. We have faculty from the Louisville Dance Alliance providing uh, three uh, contemporary slash Baroque uh, dancers for a uh, Greek chorus. So they're going to be representing the smaller roles and the chorus, the visual element of the chorus. And then our final, final element, of course, would be uh, the acting element, the actual uh, main characters. And uh, those will be portrayed by Abigail and Gregory Maupin. We love some Maupin yes, in this Yes, exactly. Okay. Yeah, it's, it's, it's a fantastic uh, just a fantastic collaboration of different elements. I always like to say, you know, we the musicians get the music, we understand the music, we love it, and there's no arguing there. Where the, the whole lies, though, is how do we reach people who might not completely get what we love, and we can't assume that they do, so why not cast a broad net and reach out to people who might enjoy the dance aspect, or might enjoy the pantomime on mask aspect, or who just want to see a damn good show, exactly. which is you know the overall uh, hope. So um, this. So if you like the music, come and get inside of pantomime. There you go. If you like the pantomime, come get inside of dance. Yeah, and you know. You're gonna leave with a side of awesome, no matter what. Right? There you go. Exactly. And so we're going out big. We're going out a wonderful closing, a wonderful season, and a wonderful eight years that we've been doing wonderful things. And eight years. Yeah. Oh God, honey, it seems like it was just yesterday. I know. 
But eight, young, uh, eight long years. The you temples have... are starting to gray, you know, so it's time to... Uh... Well, you had to gain a little, <laughs> at least a little bit of maturity so that they take you seriously up there. In there the you city, go, right? yeah. Okay, because you, you're going to go up there, there's going to be some tough cookies. Yeah. But you just stand up and tell them you know where you're at. I've got the pants for it, at least. Yes, you absolutely <laughs> do. So, again, this is such a great show for you all to go out with. And what a great amount of collaborators. That yeah. is obviously what you guys are about. That's the name of the Europe, game. So. You know, if you wanted to go further with my philosophy on the arts, it's collaboration, collaboration, collaboration. And in, for me, at least, I believe collaboration is a fantastic word, not such a scary one. Oh, I've never been scared. This one person staff can't do nothing without some collaboration. There you go. Okay? So it is absolutely about collaboration. At, you know, in the Fund for the Arts, they're doing their hashtag campaign, yes. right? Hashtag yes. art is collaboration. There you go. So you were nice enough to bring some vinyl, which is I do legit. Have some vinyl. I was like, he came in ready to go. Usually we have CDs and we're digital. But today we're going old school. We're covering our bases. And so we are actually going to be using the tech talks are you yes. ready for this yes this is the boston camarada performing the overture to henry purcell's dido and aeneas